all right welcome back so in this video i'm actually going to be showing you how to repair something that we've missed in our previous videos now why did we miss now if you look at your part everything looks like it looks good um, i can't see anything different um, that i would need to change if i'm just looking at it like that but if i go back to my drawing you're going to notice that we have first radiuses at the bottom so there's a radius at the bottom over here that is 0 0.05 uh, and also there's a surface at the bottom of that we needed to have created a surface at the bottom geometry now if i minimize this and I look at my part i can't tell if there's a surface at the bottom of my uh, pocket over here on the floor if i now twist my part i'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see it better select the bottom half and hit the delete button all of a sudden you'll notice that we did miss it there is no pocket there is nothing there's no floor at the bottom of those pockets now, will this prevent you from actually machining the part? No, because you can easily just tell it, hey, I want it to go this depth, okay? So that will not mess up for you. But for our purposes, I really want you to have those floors. It's a better guide, especially if you just want to select the floor as the depth, you can easily just do that, okay? So let's go ahead and repair that. So first, let me go ahead and hit Control Z to undo the deletion of that floor. And isometric and fit the screen. So next, I'm going to click on Shaded Translucency Toggle and go back to Levels over here on Levels. Click on that and make sure you select the, I believe it's the Triangle Geometry right here. You want to make sure you're able to see the top and the bottom geometries that we've created earlier because now we want to select that bottom geometry. Go ahead and select OK and now go to Create, Surface and what you want to do is come down here and click on Flat Boundary. So really all we'll be doing is uh, creating a flat boundary using that geometry at the bottom. Okay, very easy, very easy step. Now, this is the time where if you want to come back and change this to a different floor, for example, um, you can. So come over here and you can change it to whatever you like. Uh, let's go ahead and make it pink and select OK. And go ahead and select all the bottom geometry. Remember, only the bottom geometry. It does not matter which direction your arrow is facing. You just want to make sure you're selecting the entire uh, closed chain. Okay. And now hit OK or Enter. And then hit Apply and OK. I'm going to hit clear, um, clear Colors. And then now you'll see that there is a floor at the bottom. If you're still not sure about that, you can actually select Shaded Translucency. And you can see all the pink flooring that you've created. I know there's a lot of bright colors here, but that's a better way for me to show you uh, everything that's created. Now, if you just want to make sure on that, select the bottom uh, surface and hit Delete. And now you will notice that you will see the bottom surface of the rectangle. Remember, we created everything as a surface, so everything is going to look like sheet metal or just a surface. So the last but not least, I'm going to hold Control and Z to undo that. And then last but not least, what I'm going to do is create the uh, fillet. So then when you're done with that, come over here under Create, Surface, Fillet, and you want to do Fillet to Surfaces. So first, we'll ask you to select first set of surfaces and press enter. So that's what you want to do. You want to select the first set of surfaces. So you can select either the top one or the, the pink, whatever you want, but make sure you select all the right ones. So there's all the top ones. I'm going to hit enter. Now we'll ask you to select second set of surfaces. So I'm going to select the bottom set. And then hit enter. All right, and so there you go, 0 0.05 is what you want to see, and you want to select Auto Preview. Now, this is where you can come in and change the color if you want it to be in blue to make sure that it is uh, the same color as the top. Select Apply, and OK, let's go ahead and see that. There you go. Everything looks great. And there you go. So the next stop, we're ready to actually go in and start learning how to create the outer cuts over here that we need to create before we start creating our first machining operation.